I know absolutely nothing about Digimon. Okay. Pokemon is my entire life, so sure. why would I need to branch out? Well, yeah, absolutely. Well, I happen to be a very open-minded person, and okay. the only way to prove that is to play a Digimon game for the first time. I mean, that's I fair. I wanted to see if, that's putting fair. all my bias aside, I could bridge the gap between the two, and they could live together in harmony in my tiny little brain hobby drawer. So thus began my journey on finding the perfect Digimon game to start out with. The only Digimon game I ever played was for the PlayStation 1, and it was such a phenomenal game. Such a phenomenal game. At first, I didn't think that would be a difficult feat. Every community kind of has the general agreed consensus on what media is best to consume as a newcomer, right? Sure. All it takes is a quick Google search, I play what the internet people tell me, and now I'm a Digimoner. Well, apparently not here. I've come to realize that it's a bit complicated for them. Okay. Everywhere I looked, there were threads upon threads of people trying to agree on what Digimon game is even good in the first place. Sure. Pretty much every comment I read said something along the lines of, this game is pretty good. That's it right there. That's it. That's it. That's the only one. That's the only one you need. Nothing else. Yeah, except for these things. Or, this game is great if you can look past these extremely annoying mechanics. Every time I thought I had a lead on a game, I would look further into it and realize a lot of people actually had a lot of complaining to do. And it wasn't even angry complaining, it seemed like I've walked in on a fandom that has just been hurt over and over, and Fair. they're really trying to hang on to something and believe in the good of the franchise, of course, but they've of just course. been put through a lot. You know, kind of like the Sonic fandom. I've never had to do so much research just to find a single game in a franchise that people can just all agree is good. People okay. were talking about how they like Digimon World, but apparently it's like a tedious and frustrating Tamagotchi game where you just start over if they die. Digimon World 2 is apparently a dungeon crawler, but extremely grindy and complicated. And I read a lot of people okay. complaining about it just being bland. People said Digimon World 3 is a typical RPG but the battles get tiring and annoying, lots okay. of backtracking and never feeling like you get anywhere. I've never played any of these other than the first one, and that's all you need. That is it. Digimon World 4, Digimon World Championship, the list goes on and on, con after con. I spent multiple research sessions searching, even opted for a last ditch effort by asking, Ugh. Twitter. Everyone was saying different things. No one seemed to be able to agree that there was just one game that was overall good and easy to start with. When you gotta ask Twitter, that means you're down bad. And Digimon fandom, if there truly is a good game out there, you guys need to start pitching the franchise better. You made this difficult. I will say it seemed like the majority of people enjoyed Digimon, Digimon Cyber cards. Sleuth, but oh. the thing is, that's not really the type of game I wanted to play for the channel. It looks like it's got more of a Persona 5 vibe that focuses more on the story and characters and stuff. That's just what I've read, I don't know. Either way, it wasn't the fit for what I'm looking for. I'm sure I would love it as a casual playthrough, but it just didn't hit my content checklist. All this research led fair. me to a game I decided to settle on. Digimon World Dawn. Okay. It didn't Why? seem perfect, I saw complaints with it, but I thought, you know, it seemed like the same amount of complaints other Digimon games were getting, and there were enough people talking positively about it. Okay. I figured I could look past the criticisms. It's good reasoning. Maybe even good if reasoning. I was aware of them beforehand, they wouldn't bother me too much. And plus, I thought it looked nice. I like the pixel art, and I'm a sucker for good pixel art. So after all that, all the research, knowing the flaws beforehand, having a positive mental attitude, I settled on a good enough Digimon game, right? Something at least playable, right? <laughs> as much as I want to say yes, this was one of, if not the most miserable video game experiences I've ever forced myself to go through. And that mm. isn't even as a biased Pokemon player, that's as an enjoyer of fun. I was aware of Digimon World Dawn's criticisms, I knew what I was getting myself into, okay. yet despite all the warnings, all the positive outlooks, all of the manifesting to be able to frolic hand in hand with both the Digimon and Pokemon franchises yeah, together in a beautiful I feel like it's field of a thousand sunflowers, 
It was just awful. Oh, it started God. out lighthearted. I tried to put my name in and realized they only allow five characters for the main no. character's name. So I'm Jaden. For any gameplay, I'm given four different packs of three Digimon. The balance pack, attack pack, speed pack, and the Japanese pack. That cat's honestly, in every one. I was one. shocked to see how huge and powerful they all looked. Look at these Must big be men. overpowered. Pokemon starters don't look like this. This is awesome. I chose the attack pack because the big worm guy was my favorite. And then the it game sense. forces me to nickname all my Digimon. It's not an option, um, and if I try to name them their original Digimon names, I can't because they don't mm. give me enough characters. Again, out of everything I read about this game, this is hilariously not mentioned in anyone's criticism. That is kind of strange. That's bad programming, so I'm surprised that they let that out of quality control without testing that first. I don't know if it's a Digimon thing or I don't know. So here I, Jaden, am with my Charmon, Tony Tiger, and Big Worm. I'm not even given a chance to breathe before I'm thrown into this Digimon gang tournament having to fight for my Digimon and friends' lives and glory mm. in an environment I'm not even sure how to comprehend. Like, first of all, where are we? This sure doesn't look like the States. You're in the Digi world. Everybody knows that. Or Japan, I think. Also, what is a Digimon? I win by figuring it out, kind of not really. Still don't know what's going on. And then win a few more times before the tournament is over and our team or gang or something, Light Fang, is the winner. Yay, Jaden! You won the tournament for us! What's going on? Oh my god, what the f is what that? is that? In a complete twist in story direction, a genuinely terrifying virus. Look, I'm not saying anything about, uh, you know the way characters look but you know if if that uh one put that one digimon um was you know irl uh, if you know you know of death spawns and starts turning all the digimon into digi eggs including mine i checked my guys and charmon is the same tony tiger is a bit smaller but big worm is a dinosaur now he's Why? not a big worm anymore now his cleverly tailored nickname doesn't make any sense how was i supposed to know i was getting fully grown digi guys and they were gonna turn them back to small digi guys again and Yo, that's big not worm fair. starts off that's as not a fair. lizard that's like the opposite of how evolution works i knew i didn't know anything about digimon but after the past five minutes, I've realized I am completely out of my element. I go up and fight the horrific demon virus that I'm IRL scared of. And despite I mean, that does look creepy. It looks really I'm creepy. Doing, I end up winning, even with my little digi babies. The virus deuces out, and the head of the Light Fang Clan, this Glare guy, that's his name, his name is Glare, is like, this is so weird. Go climb a mountain and look around or something, I guess. I'm sent out to look for virus clues at Login Mountain and run into my Light Fang friend, Kenpa, who's like, I don't know what happened. We got here and all the wild Digimon started attacking me and the other members. They left me behind to be mauled with no escape equipment. I'm fine now, but I think I'm just gonna go back to the city. She does that and I start traversing the mountain. And this is where I experience my first complaint that everyone was talking about in this game. Okay. All the dungeons and areas and stuff are mazes. They're all mazes with absolutely mm. bonkers wild Digimon encounter rates. You don't have a mini map to know where you're going or where you even are any point of the dungeon. And there's no item to avoid the random encounters. Mm. Basically, so you just gotta fight through all of them. This is like playing a Pokemon game, but the whole game is a maze. You never know where you are because maps don't exist. Everything is wild grass and there's no repels. I think. I chose the wrong game. I ended yeah, up stumbling. Yeah, sounds my like way you should have played the PlayStation the One game. At least I think it's the top. I have no idea where I am and never will. And the other two guys who left a defenseless little girl to be roasted over a digi fire are getting beat up by a digi eagle. I knock the bird in the head hard enough to make him come to his senses, and he apologizes for being mean which is more than I expected, to be fair. And yeah, the guys yeah, absolutely. By the way, I, I didn't I didn't know that Digimon spoke. I didn't know that they spoke to the people and yeah. talked and interacted. You gotta watch the show. It's, it's weird to me, and I never quite got over it. We returned to the city, and everyone's like, great job, Jaden, and then suddenly I'm left alone with absolutely no idea. To be fair, Pokemon speak to people as well. Like, Mewtwo spoke. Uh, Meowth taught himself to speak. All the Pokemon say their name in an attempt to communicate, so 
the Pokemon communicate and speak too. Yeah, what to do or how to continue progressing. I'm trying to figure out if I have to like talk to someone or walk into the right room and someone's like, ah, Jaden, we're all being traumatically and irreversibly turned into digi eggs over here or something. I don't know. And I do want to make sure you guys know that even the main hub is a maze. The amount of time I spent trying to figure out where I even am in the supposed safe space of the city overworld was pure comedy and frustration. Why is everything in this game perfectly designed to try and make me never open my DS ever again? I am just I wandering I really around, don't. walking in what I am 60% sure game. is a circle, left in the dark on what actions I need to take to keep playing a game I no longer want to play. I look it up and figure out that if I want to progress the story, I need to earn it. I have to walk into this building, talk to the digi clerks, and complete multiple useless side quests that have nothing to do with anything to unlock another chunk of the main game. Are you gonna give up? And let's not are you forget, gonna quit? All the dungeons are mazes. I said that already, but I want to reiterate. I have to go through mazes, sometimes multiple times, to unlock the important maze. But only for a little bit, after I earn just a biscuit, just a crumb of that sweet, sweet story nectar. I'm humbled yet again by being told to go play more errand boy in more pointless mazes as the cycle continues. Sounds right. Surely this game is not serious. Surely this game didn't get an overall average to decent rating on multiple game review sites. Surely the people who said this game was pretty good all things should have listened to me just play pokemon or uh, to i don't know why i said a playstation one to their dark dark digi web digimon on playstation one the weak or torture the strong what is going on am i the only one who thinks this game was meant to be given to hostages to torture information out of them i'm sure. three hours in and i'm straight up ready to spill my mother's maiden name and i still don't even know how to play the thing or what a digimon is because no i do not want to read a bible's worth of tutorials i'm gonna do it I'm going to be the first person to use a Nintendo DS to kill a man. Let me mm. cut this whole show short and just tell you the entire non-fluff plot of the game. Evil Fountain of Youth of Death virus turns all the Digimon into Digi Eggs. Light Fang Clan thinks Night Crow Clan is behind it because their chief is acting strange. Okay. Night Crow Clan thinks Light Fang Clan is behind it because their chief is acting strange. That makes sense. The two realize neither of them are behind it because they who is? mind control to act strange. They find out there's an evil Digimon virus thing behind it all Jaden beats it up uh, it fades away and credits roll immediately okay Bro, I appreciate the summary did it take me to experience that story 15 in-game hours and I was cheating I was using speed up and exp codes and guides and ibuprofen that time could have <laughs> easily tripled if I was being a good little squeaky clean angel playing the game in its purest, most intended form. But if I did that, I would have thrown myself into the ocean. And oh, even I understand. using all the resources I could find, it still was not a fun experience. Here's a clip of me trying to read a guide after my fifth time of being completely lost in a maze dungeon. If you've unlocked the macro sea, go there and head south, then go up and right to head to the south path, leading to another screen, then go left after another screen, then go to the big bridge looking thing on the left if you don't have the key head south oh my god yeah that sounds very I complicated any of that <laughs> i'm freaking out dude <laughs> not only was i subjected to maze after maze after maze wild and that's amazing counter after wild encounter but throughout all of that the game still expected me to do a cement mixer amount of grinding no way, Jose! Do you know how many layers deep this agony cake is already? You want more? Sir, I am but a husk. As you can see, there is not a molecule of serotonin, dopamine, or endorphins in this lifeless body. There is nothing left for you to take. You have created a human raisin. I'm really sorry, Digimon fans. I really have nothing against okay. Digimon as a whole. You just picked the wrong fact, game. That's all. I absolutely all. That's loved all. a lot of the Digimon designs. When it comes to monsters and creatures, I have to admit, I am an edgy bitch. So I absorbed <laughs> those guys like they were a little puddle of muddy water in a scorching barren desert. Because metaphorically speaking, 
That's what they really were to me. Look at all these fellas! I'm surrounded by everything I could ever want in a monster. Pokemon could never. Maybe Agron. I even got Big Worm back. He's my nice. friend forever. Welcome Despite back, Big Worm. all my efforts, I chose the wrong Digimon game. I really did try. I'm sorry I didn't play Cyber Sleuth. I didn't know the other option was a thousand punches to the skull. Regardless of the pain this game has inflicted on me, I can, against all odds, say I am coming out of this experience a bit of a Digimon enjoyer. Maybe I still don't know a single thing about any of it, but I have some Just watch the guys. anime. I think they're cool. This evil, evil game somehow didn't tarnish my view on Digimon as a franchise. I am damaged, but I forgive. One day I will play Cyber Sleuth and hopefully be able to commit to being a fully fledged Digimon fan. That's how I think it works. Until then, Digimoners, I'm worried about you. Please seek therapy. <laughs> Hello, thank you for watching. That was Pokemon fan plays Digimon and hated it. Um, Jaden, phenomenal as always. The animation is great. The storytelling is great. You deserve all of the respect and accolades that you get. Congratulations on being so successful. It was good. It was a good video. You just picked the wrong game. Watch the anime. The anime is a fire. Um, with that being said, if you enjoy my reaction to this, let me know. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Come be a member of the royal family um, by hitting the subscribe button. Come join us in Discord. Link will be down in the description. And shout out to Foxy. I'll see y'all later. Peace.